Hey kids, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In this video, we will continue with first standard mathematics. That is lesson number 14, money. So after studying this unit, you are going to identify the currency notes and coins which we use in our country. And we will also get familiar with the coins and notes and make the given amount using different combination of coins and notes and also we will relate the cost of material with the currency so money 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 coins are many drop them all one by one hear the sound tan 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 okay kids here there's a situation you can assume yes for example child what do you want the mother is asking, child, what do you want? So here the boy says, mother, I want to buy pencil. So here kids, what happens when the boy asks her mother that he want to buy a pencil? What the mother will give? The answer is money. Yes. Okay. Next here. Mother, I want banana. I need dash to give the vendor. So what is the answer here? Here also, I need money to give the vendor. Yes or no kids? There is one more. Uncle, I want ice cream. So here, give me money, the uncle says. Yes or no? So kids, in our daily life, whatever we want to buy, for each thing, for each item, we have to pay the money. Yes or no? So, money can be measured in different currency in different country. Okay? So, in our India, we measure money in rupees. Okay? There is one more situation. Uncle, I want a balloon. I will give you a balloon, you should give me money. Like they will be saying amount like 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 5 rupee, okay? I am telling in general that for everything we need money here, okay? So money can be measured in different currencies, okay? What is required to buy the articles in the above situations? Write your answer or response in the box. What you need? You need money. Yes. You know that money is required to buy things. Yes kids. I already told you. To buy things we need money. In our country money is in the form of coins and notes. Yes or no? So kids earlier days we used to have 50 paise. And also 25 paise was also there. But nowadays we don't use them. Okay. Then we have 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 5 rupees, 10 rupees. I hope you have seen these coins. Yes. From 1 to 10 rupees. Yes. Okay. Then there are also notes available. Okay. These are notes. And whatever I have shown you in the previous page, these are coins. Okay. So here, look at the given notes and tell their values. So earlier days, we used to have one rupee note. Also two rupee note. Okay. Then five rupees note. I hope you may have seen this. But now we don't use this note. Okay. Then ten rupees note. 20 rupees note, then 50 rupees note. So I hope you can identify these notes, kids. Okay. So there is one more additional information. It is like uh, in the earlier days, we used to have 1 paisa, 2 paisa, 3 paisa, 5 paisa. Okay. So like this, we used to have some paisa. Okay. Like 50 paisa, 25 paisa, as I already told you. Earlier days, we had. 25 paisa also and nowadays we have 1, 2, 5 and 10 rupees coins. Okay. 
so 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa remember this for calculation we will be using this 1 rupee equals to how many paisa 100 paisa okay symbol of rupee is this clear with this how to draw this i will show you write like this first then draw two lines okay clear with this okay match the following as shown so here this is what rupee one where is rupee one here here then second one rupee five so five rupees is here then rupee two two rupees is here then rupee 10 is here then lastly 50 paisa is here clear with this match the following as shown so money in the symbol and notes are given 2 rupee note is where here then 10 rupee note here it is there so draw a line like this then 5 rupee note is here then 20 rupees note here then 1 rupee note is at the top clear with this okay activity take a sheet paper place a 1 rupee coin below the paper scratch on the paper using a pencil on the coin what do you get so kids your picture will look like this So here you can take a coin and place it behind the paper and uh, take a pencil and scratch there okay so you will get like this okay so you have to do this activity for 2 rupee coin 5 rupee coin and 50 paisa coin here okay this is the front end you, can, you have to trace the other face here that is back side okay now there is one more activity observe the coins you can see here 5 rupee coin 1 rupee coin 50 paisa coin 2 rupee coin then 5 rupee coin okay so now we have to count them count the different coins and write 50 paisa how many coins are there here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 coins of 50 paisa how many coins 7 coins of 50 paise then how many coins of 1 rupee is there so let's see there is only one so there is only one coin of 1 rupee then coming to 2 rupees you have two coins so two coins of 2 rupees okay then lastly 5 rupees so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 coins of 5 rupees. Okay. So total number of coins how many? 11 plus 2 plus 1 plus 7. So how many totally? 11 plus 2 what? 13, 14, 21. So there are 21 coins available. Okay. Observe the given articles and their prices. Put right mark for the coin or note that has to be paid to buy them. So there is a chocolate okay what is the price of the chocolate 50 paisa so 
among these coins where is 50 paisa here so you have to put right mark okay now this is a pencil what is the price 5 rupees so among these coins where is 5 rupee coin this one so put right mark okay so this is a vegetable what is the amount 1 rupee so where is 1 rupee coin it is here so put right mark there is a banana what is the price 2 rupees so where is the 2 rupees note here this is the 2 rupees note okay then so you can see the coconut what is the amount 10 rupee so where is the 10 rupees note here put right mark then there is a pumpkin what is the price 20 rupees so where is the 20 rupees note this is the 20 rupees note clear with this Okay, let us see money addition. Okay. Observe the articles and the notes representing their prices. Write the price of each article. So, here they have given you the note and the object. So, based on the note, you have to write their prices. Okay. So, there is a pen. And they have given which note it is. It is 10 rupees note. Okay. Now, this is a pear. Okay. This is a fruit. So, what is the price of this fruit? There is a 10 rupee note and there is a 2 rupees note. So, add them. 10 plus 2, 11, 12. So, 12 rupees. Then, pineapple. So, what is the price of pineapple? They have given 5 rupees note and 10 rupees note. So, add them. So, 10 plus 5. So, after 10, we have to take 5 more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, it is of 15 rupees. Clear with this? Okay, now what is the activity here? Look at the price tag on the articles. Which two notes or coins given above can you use to buy these things? So, model 15 rupees. So, how can you get 15 rupees? You can get 10 rupees note and 5 rupees note to get this object. Yes. So now, what is this papaya? The price is 12 rupees. So how can you get 12 rupees from these? You can get 10 rupees note and 2 rupee coin. Yes? So you have to say 10 rupee plus 2 rupees. Okay? Clear with this? How to get 12 rupees? You have to take 10 rupees note and 2 rupees coin. Okay. Then this is seven rupees. So how can you get seven rupees? You have you can take five rupee coin and two rupee coin. Yes, five plus two will be seven rupees. Okay. Then what is this balloon? What is the price? Four rupees. So, how to get 4 rupees? You can get 2 rupee coins. 2 rupees, 2 coins. Okay. Then, bucket. Price is 25. How can you get 25? You can get like, you can take a 20 rupees note and 5 rupees note. So, which will make you 25 rupees. Okay. Then, the flower. 
what is the cost 3 rupees so how to get 3 rupees now you can take a 2 rupee coin and a 1 rupee coin yes or no then lastly a tumbler which will cost 12 rupees how to get 12 rupees you can take 10 rupees note and 2 rupees coin to make it 12 rupees clear with this okay now look at the price of the articles match the articles and the amount to be paid okay so the they are jumbled you have to match them so firstly the tumbler is of 15 rupees so where is 15 rupees 10 rupees note plus 5 rupees that is 15 so you can match like this then 11 rupees where is 11 rupees here 10 rupee note 1 rupee coin that will make 11 rupees then 10 rupees where is 10 rupee here you can see 10 rupee coin then papaya 12 rupees so where is 12 rupees here you can see here 10 rupee coin and 2 rupee coin makes 12 rupees then sharpener it is of 5 rupees where is 5 rupee note this is 5 rupee note yes then where is 2 rupee there is a 2 rupees note clear with this okay the last one here kids corner look at the price of the toys and answer the following questions so there is a car of rupees 10 there is a doll of rupees 5 okay there is a dum dum what is this a drum 2 rupees cycle 5 rupees okay there are some questions we have to answer which two toys can you buy for 10 rupees so among these toys which two toys you can buy for 10 rupees so you have 10 rupees and you have to buy two toys here so you can see two toys i cannot buy this because it's of 10 rupees okay me means i will be giving my whole amount to get only one toy i cannot buy this so i can buy this number two and number four yes or no five rupees plus five rupees will be 10 rupees okay which one toy can you buy for 10 rupees so one toy you can buy for 10 rupees which one number one which one toy can you buy for five rupees so which one toy you can buy for five rupees you can either buy number two or you can either buy four so you can buy two or four okay which two toys can you buy for five rupees so which are the two toys here which you can buy for only five rupees you cannot buy this because if you buy this only one will come if you take number three to uh, number three you can buy it twice yes or no and you will be getting one rupee back yes or no so clear with this i hope you understood about the money i hope you saw different currencies that is different coins and different notes in this chapter okay one rupee two rupees five rupees ten rupees twenty rupees fifty rupees okay clear with this kids so this completes the chapter money okay in the next class we will start with the chapter length okay i hope you like this video okay i am going to see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye